When working with dogs, there's always inherent risk. Urban Dogs LLC is not responsible for damages to any person, animals, or property by those attempting these procedures. Hello, my name is Drayton Michaels. I'm a certified dog trainer and behavior technician. This is the first video in a series about working with leash reactive dogs presented by Urban Dogs, Pitbull Guru, and Canine Sun Media. The dog featured in this first video will be Brandy. She's a nine-year-old female American Pit Bull Terrier. Brandy's had a long, tumultuous history with training. She was used as a breeding dog, and she received electronic shock as punishment for seeing dogs and deer. Her triggers for reactivity are trucks, mainly large trucks with low growling gears or very noisy engines, motorcycles, bikes, sudden appearances by people alone or in groups, and humans of any age or size, as well as other dogs. The target behavior for Brandy we're working towards is to have her stay under threshold, meaning no lunging or barking when seeing or hearing any of her triggers. When she does notice stimuli, she can watch it pass, walk, sit, stand, lay down, or look back and forth to the stimuli in the handler. As soon as she orients to the stimuli, we're going to mark yes in reward. If she goes over threshold, we create distance, and in many cases, once at that distance, we might spill or pay her for following the lure. Thus, the food in the distance act as padding and create a positive association to the environment environment in general. As she succeeds, we will make adjustments. Right now, we're just going to mark and pay and create distance as needed. In addition to this do anything except lunge and bark criteria, we're creating an overall positive association to the changes in the environment. We always create distance to desensitize as necessary so the dog will stay under threshold. This is something you must do. Seeing as the safe distances for most dogs are varied, you must play the distance and make note of them in order to have success. If you don't play the distance and work your durations as best as you can, you may not be making good progress. When you do not play the distance or factor it in, you will have lots of over threshold behavior. Thus, the dog will be rehearsing the unwanted behavior and it gets stronger. We measured the area we worked in, so we had a pretty good idea of where we needed to be for Brandy so she would stay under threshold. Nancy, Brandy's owner, also supplied historical info about her distances and we'd done some preliminary work prior to the film session. This session and subsequent others were conducted as they happened. There were no setups, and we got what we got as it happened in real time. At the time of this filmed session, Brandy was on 16 milligrams of Prozac, otherwise known as Reconcile. The date of this session was July 28th, 2011. Brandy had been on the medication for roughly 90 days. Okay, so we got some guys over here to the right. And as soon as she gets a beat in them, I want you to yes and treat her for that. sounds so whenever we can get anything low level of a stimulus that she will okay. react to let's take it let's not wait so we can get ready yes. okay the only thing is don't have the food out yeah, prior she's... just wait you know you can even pull it and put it behind your back okay, okay. That's more of a bribe right. Right. than a like reward. A right. You know, and again, no harm, no foul, but we really want to make sure it's nice and tight that she puts together that that truck is what's getting her paid. And I'm not sure if this truck that's at the light is going to be coming forward or not, but it's a big white truck, so we'll go up over here on the grass where we were before. Okay. Get your, go ahead, put your pouch behind your back and just get ready for her. Remember, okay, the truck is coming this way. Remember, you know it's coming. So what I want you to do is watch her. All right? Yes. 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 Nice. Good pay. Good second pay. All right, food goes away. Good, good, good. And I think I see another truck coming this way so get ready 
Nice. No telegraphing. Just wait it out. Watch Bran. She's going to hear it first. That's it. Good. Reposition yourself. Smart. Pay. Yes. Pay. Yes. Pay. Yes. Yes, they are, but so isn't this bike coming, so please get ready. And wait for her. Wait for her, watch her head. You pay. Yes. Pay for the yes. skateboard. Good, create distance, create distance, yes. good, pay. Nice. Great, and let's stay back that far. Let's stay back here. Good. Good, 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 good girl, it's okay. Let's do, leave it all the way. Yes. Back here. Good girl, all right, pay her. Good girl, it's okay, it's okay, you're okay. Pay again, yes. keep paying for this guy. Okay, wait her out, pull the treats away, wait till she looks, yes. 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 Good, 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 good. her back a little bit maybe like 10 feet because we have a, a pair of people coming a little further back that's good right there wait for it watch her pay yes nice pay yes wait pay yes pay yes watch the tug wait pay again yes Girl. Keep an eye on her. Watch, watch her head. Pull your hand out, get ready. Mark. Yes! Mark. Yes! yes. Mark. Mark, keep going. Yes. We got motorcycles. Keep paying. Yes. Nice. Keep paying. Yes. That's it. Keep paying. Yes! That's it. Keep paying. That's nice. Keep Increase your distance a little. That's it. That's it. We still got the sound of the motorcycle, so keep yes. paying. Move your hand away. Wait for her to look over. Wait for her. Pay. Yes. Pay. Yes. Keep paying. Yes. She's hearing that motorcycle. It's gonna and it's gonna rev up. Keep paying. Yes. Keep paying. Yes. Keep paying. Yes. Pay again. Okay. And wait yes. for these people. We got two people coming. Wait her out. Wait her out. Pay. Yes. Good. Treats go away. Good. 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 We got a bike coming. Get ready. Yes. Nice. Okay. Big truck coming. Pay. Her. Pay. Yes. Pay. Nice. Good idea to pay for those women. I like that. Pay. Yes. Pay. Yes. I thought she might look back. Pay for that skateboard. Motorcycle coming. Wait for it. Watch her.
Move your bag around to the back. Some people across the street, maybe. No handout for that's it. Good. Good, good. Alright, I'm emptying trees if we have a second. Huge dump truck on the way. She's gonna hear it right about now. Pay. Yes. Wait. Yes. Pay. 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 Yes. Okay, wait. Okay, pay for the yes. brakes. Just pay for the brakes. Good. Okay, so when that truck starts up again, we may get to watch her. And hopefully no other trucks will come. Yes. Nice. Yes. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes. Good, 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 good. Okay, hand out from the pouch. I got it done. Big white truck coming. Yes. Nice. I like the fact you got the very first sound of it. Pay again. Yes. Short duration on the look. Pay yes. again. Great. Pay again. Yes. Pay again, big spill. Yes. That's it. Because we're gonna have this truck right here. Create distance, lure her away. Nice, keep luring, keep luring, keep luring, keep luring. Great, that's good right there. Wait for it. Yes, okay. Wait for her to look. Yes. Wait. Wait her out. We want look at truck. Yes. yes. Wait. Wait for her to look at the truck. Yes. 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 Nice. Good self-regulation there. The girl. She's coming for you. Okay. Come on. Another one coming. Get her. Yes. Wait for it. Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay, treats go away. That's good, right yes. there. Good, I like it. I like it. Good, good, good. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, vexed by you paying her for any sound. Right. Yes. yes. Pay her for this. All this. Because we know that she may just react at sudden environmental contrast. Big white truck coming and another one behind it. So go ahead and lure her back just a little bit. No, no food in the hand though. Just lure her back. And that's good. Right about there. And we're going to wait it out. I'm sure you see them. So she's catching the sound of these long before the sight. So just watch her ears and her head. Watch her make that first orientation. Yes. Nice. We'll take it. Okay, here they come. Watch her. Yes. Okay. She heard it. Good. 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 Quicker on the quicker on the reinforcement. Wait for it. Yes. Nice. Okay. Yes. Wait. Pay. Yes. Nice. Wait for her to look back. Pay. Yes. Good. Pay. Yes. Just keep paying. The whole time this truck's idling. Yes. That's it. Try to get it right in your mouth. Nice. Don't hold it out front. Move your hand back. Pay. Yes. 
create a little distance for yourself. A little bit more. That's good. Wait for it. Wait for her to look at the truck. Yes. Yes. Nice. Got two of them. Keep going. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Keep going. Wait for it. Yes. You're doing great. You're rocking and rolling. Nice. She's, yes. she's holding it together. This is great. Pay. Nice. We got yes. pay. Nice. Pay. Yes. Yes. Let's debrief the session we just watched. Our three levels of criteria for brandy were as follows. Over threshold responses, lunging and barking. Under threshold responses, orienting to stimuli with no lunging or barking. Self-regulated responses where she would stop herself and bounce off the marker or orient and display impulse control and turn back to the handler before the marker. In roughly 20 minutes, we had 155 recorded and obviously observed responses to stimuli. There is no doubt we missed some, and of course, she's hearing all the sounds in the environment and hearing is a response. 46 of these orientations to something the handler did not reinforce, meaning Brandy saw or heard something that would normally have her go over threshold, yet she did not receive handler reinforcement. Some of these were marked late or not at all. Over threshold responses totaled nine. Six happened all in one incident when the bike approached her from behind from about 10 to 15 feet. We needed more distance and a better angle for her to see the bike approaching. Three others occurred when a man appeared suddenly and we had to do a spill so she wouldn't go over threshold. Self-regulated responses totaled 16. Sometimes these were regulated pre-marker, while some were what we would call bouncing off the marker. Three of these required a spill, which is a large amount of food, so she would not go over threshold due to needing either more distance or less duration. Uh, there were a couple of people passing, uh, and also we had one spill for trucks idling. Her under threshold responses totaled a whopping 130. And this shows us that by being aware of the environment, being ready to train, good mechanics, and providing high value food rewards along with playing the distance, dogs do learn and progress can be made. Brandy started to really relax around 10 to 12 minutes into the game. When we viewed the session on video, we found out how the distances helped or hindered the counter conditioning. We found no surprise in that longer distances gave us the most under threshold responses. Shortest distances gave us the most over threshold responses. In addition, the most amount of almost over threshold behaviors where she would self-regulate came at shorter distances. In the environment training took place in, we found under threshold responses under 30 feet were only three. Under threshold responses 50 to 75 feet away is where the majority occurred. Some some traffic was triggering Brandy at distances greater than 75 feet as it approached or drove away, but we found 75 feet was the best distance we had for keeping her under threshold. However, 50 feet, even 25 feet for fast moving traffic, she would stay under threshold. All but one almost over threshold behavior happened between 30 to 50 feet. Six of the nine over threshold responses were between 10 to 15 feet, and the other three were at 30 feet for a sudden appearance of a person getting out of the car. Greater distances for longer durations is a rule that will bail you out of many situations. High rates for long durations is also another one. Your rate of reinforcement should equal the duration, meaning keep it going, don't stop until the stimulus is gone. This is where a coach can help. If it is passing quickly and not lingering, then pay for each orientation. If you're faced with a long duration, you either need a rate of reinforcement every second or two, or do a spill. Counterconditioning and desensitizing a reactive dog takes legwork, a flexible plan, and most of all, an understanding of what your goals are and how to go about achieving them based on the flexible plan. We'll have more videos of Brandy in the future so we can show you how she improves along with how we adjusted for more success. When you train in an open environment and you're at the mercy of the universe, make sure you're making safe decisions and work with a partner. Have fun, be safe, and respect others when doing work to reduce leash reactivity. If done properly, you can make great gains in reducing it. Remember, film and collect your data so you can have actual information about behavioral progress and better your training mechanics. This has been a Canine Sun Media presentation.